Hello and welcome back to the shed and to version 3 my grid tie uh, automatic switch um, as you can see there's been a complete rebuild of the hardware I've built it on this, this PCB board here um, a complete change of screen to this Nokia 5110 screen um, I've got the correct switch uh, fitted now on this board an Arduino Nano these, uh, uh, this is a clone um, these only cost about £1.70 delivered from China um, instantly the screen was about £1.60 I think um, and now the, the same relay board but now the whole thing is powered here going into the raw pin of the nano um, by the same point where the voltage sensor is I've got rid of the Arduino module voltage sensor and I've replaced it here with these two resistors creating a voltage divider which goes through to analog pin 6 um, now there's a couple of reasons for that. One to reduce the amount of extra components around, um, but also I've, I've put these resistors. I've made it so that it's sensing up to 15 volts. Unfortunately, um, those sensors you buy go up to 25 volts, which uh, so that those top 10 volts uh, and that and that precision that I'm looking for. Um, is wasted really so I've, I've made my own voltage divider to make it a bit more accurate so it works in exactly the same way as before there's only a couple of software changes mainly because of the new hardware but if I change the voltage of coming in to the system there we go, the voltage is rising up as if the battery voltage was being charged rising up as you can see we're in automatic mode we're in charging mode it's just over 13 volts at the moment and that bar graph is changing with the voltage as well so as we hit 13.8 volts add the click the relays come on and we're now in automatic grid time mode if we imagine that the battery voltage was going down through use and or just being sat not being charged that charge that voltage 12.9 a bit lower and the relays go off so on the back of the board there you can see the wiring I've done um, the raw power comes in here so the raw pin the ground here and then the ground carries on um, to connect to other components um, this was where I put the voltage sensor originally but then I've replaced that with those two resistors which just around here um, it's not the best soldier job in the world, but it's only for playing around with. Using this switch, I've now switched it into uh, manual mode and into charging mode. And that'll stay there until I flip the switch. And if I put it over that side, in manual mode, grid tie. Um, and in the middle it's an automatic mode so one thing I have done uh, to my grid tie inverter is the DC blade fuse at the bottom uh, when it came with a 30 amp I've changed that for a 10 amp I think it is uh, because I'll never be putting anything more than 100, 150 watts into it, um, which should stay within that 10 amp fuse. And the other thing I've done 
is just put a 3 watt fuse in the plug, it came with a 13 watt, uh, which I felt was far, far too much in case of any issues. And back in the house where that cable goes, there's also an RCD um, in case of any other uh, issues on that circuit. So I've actually put this in production now on a little test system. There's a grid tie switch, automatic switch version 3. Um, plugged into this relay board, which goes into this little solar charge controller, which as you can see, is not charging because the relays are active and they are feeding the grid tie power inverter which is just ticking along there I'm feeding a massive 2 watts into my grid or 1 watt half of production um, it's currently attached to the solar charge controller is currently attached to this power pack I'm using the inverter on it to try and bring that battery voltage down a bit but it's currently reading 12.7 volts and that's pretty full um, I found that this isn't very accurate and this is more accurate so it's more about 12.7 volts currently so it's happily feeding the grid <laughs> 